Steve Cholo Ellis, aka Woody Woodflow, underground skateboarder. Been around from the beginning, and this is what I do. Been skateboarding for 55 years, I'm 66 years old. This is my little place in La Union with all my friends. Come to visit on my birthday and have a fun sesh. I grew up poor, like dirt ass poor, like Filipino kind of poor for an American. And I just always said that I'm so glad I live in a beach town. Come on, baby, just put it on my mind. Shake it, shake it. I owned my first business while I was still in high school. I opened that business for $250. Two years later, I sold it for $7,500, which in 1970, that was more than my stepfather made in a year probably, you know what I mean? And I took that money and I opened a surf shop. And if you read that, it'll tell you right there at the start of the article, doesn't particularly like Mexican food. Yeah, I'm from New York, bro. I didn't grow up on beans and rice. It was the right food at the right time in the right place. A place that maybe served 100 people a day on a good day to 1,000 people every day, seven days a week. We did a huge amount of revenue, man. It was, it was kind of crazy. That's Jay Adams in the photo. He was one of my best friends. Here he is taking a picture of me on my 59th birthday. That was the last skate session we had together. There. Um, he lived at my house for many years. Jay, Jay kind of floated in and out of jail a few times. And I was always the guy that went in front of the parole board and said, I have a place for him to live and I have a job for him. And of course, he really didn't work in the restaurant. He just was on the payroll. <laughs> you know, it was a big loss to skateboarding. One of the biggest names. Because he was an innovator in the 70s. Die people go. The people can't stay. Don't be afraid. That you can't wait. Tell me when. So this is what happened. I'll put up the property and I'll throw 15,000 down. You guys get 10 or 15 guys, put a thousand a piece in. All of a sudden, guys were showing up, dropping thousand bucks down, thousand bucks down, thousand bucks. I guess we're on. And in 14 days, we had like one of the most famous bowls in the world. I had no judges. The skaters who weren't skating judged. Because the bottom line in skateboarding is everybody knows who is the most badass in the session. It went down as the most legendary contest because nobody ever put everybody together. Hi, honey. <laughs> Say hi. In Bacala, do you know what we used to do? Yeah. We used to go clean the streets. 
every day, the, the skate kids. That's, that's what you have to do. I don't want to see any trash along that one strip where the house and the ramp was. Decided I was going to go to Upper College because I saw like kind of one of you kind of videos online about the street kids. And as an American, I, and not being exposed to third world, I wanted to go see it for myself. And I wanted to take some of that restaurant money, you know, beans and rice are betty betty good to me, you know. <laughs> and go do something worthwhile. I was just buying these kids food. And then I found out they were going back to their barangay and selling it and not eating it. So the new rule was we all get together and we sit there and we eat. Yeah, that's what we did it for a long time and that's how I met my wife. So the kids in McCollard, they never thought they could be skateboarders or great skateboarders. And now they did something and like everybody respects them and they're the top of their game. So what they learned inside is, hey, I can do anything. Okay, you ready? Yeah. You gotta bend and turn your head, just like when I'm not holding. Okay. That was real good though. Yeah. So, this is, Kaibo is a perfect example of teaching foundation. There it is. That's big time right there. And foundation is being able to skate with four wheels down, get up on top 50-50, front side grinds, the basics, what was done in the beginning when we first discovered pools. And that's kind of like what I like to, um, like to teach kids to flow. Bye-bye. How many kids go through life and never have a goal and meet a goal? That's all skateboarding is. You get on the board, First goal is I gotta learn how to ollie. You keep setting goals and meeting them, that's gonna carry over in the rest of your life. tried to roll with the young good guys through my whole life. My goal always was just keep up with them, stay in the session, you know, don't look old. And here I am, 66. Money, money, get money, take money. I can't understand that concept because job will be done around me. Money, money, get money, take money. I can't understand that concept because job will be done around me.